Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Narukami Cardfight Vanguard deck profile for standard format 2019. This is one of the decks that was released in the Miyagi Academy CF Club booster pack, and a big thanks to my friend Anthony for letting me borrow his Narukami deck for the deck profile. It's missing a few cards, uh, a lot of them have actually shot up in price, um, so I'll just specify which ones uh, we're missing and what I would take out uh, for those cards if we do have them. I'll also be showing them uh, with the playset lineups as well. But it's a really fun deck. The whole mechanic of binding your opponent's rear guard has been a big theme for Narukami uh, since G uh, format. And just all the different plays, including the restanding play with Detonic's Drill, just makes it for a very powerful deck addition to the Excel lineup of clans. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. Now, for the grade threes, we have three Detonics Drill Dragon. Uh, more than likely would run four. There's just been so many different uh, grade threes that you can run for uh, Narukami with all the uh, different ones from the trial deck, the ones in the booster pack. The year lineup can be uh, varied depending on what you want to run. And with uh, Drill Dragon, when it attacks a Vanguard, you can counterblast one, choose a rear guard in your opponent's front row, and bind it, then discard the same number of cards from your hand as the number of your opponent's uh, rear guards and at the end of that battle stand this unit and it gets plus 5,000 and drive minus one till the end of the turn so it's that pressure you can do with your front row that really does help for that hand consistency and then being able to just take care of a lot of problems your opponent may have on their field especially with their um, you know uh, threatening intercepts with their grade twos or just their lineup and just reduce the cost for your um, restand depending on how many rear guards they have as well makes this card a uh, definite powerhouse for the Narukami deck and I also run four Detonics Stinger Dragon uh, with this one when placed you counter blast one choose a rear guard in your opponent's front row bind it and this unit gets plus 5,000 until end of turn and when rode upon call this card to rear and one of your opponent's vanguards gets plus and one of your not your opponent that would be very 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 bad uh, gets plus 10,000 until end of turn so it's kind of playing off of the fact that stinger used to be a break ride during a uh, limit break but also you have that uh, rear guard uh, bind from the front row with additional plus power so good backup for sure in comparison to Drill Dragon, just boosting this card up power-wise for your restand that you'll do uh, with it. And you can call it two rear, so you have the Excel circle option with this card as well, just to get the numbers up for when it attacks. And I also, for additional backups, two Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. This one um, can be taken out or reduced to one uh, for the addition of a Detonix Drill Dragon. So you run four uh, Drill and four Stinger. But still, uh, good Vanguard pressure for being able to uh, basically attack the front row. For a Counter Blast 2, this unit gets plus five and a critical until end of turn. If there are two or more rear guards in your opponent's front row, instead of the critical, when it would attack, it battles all of your uh, their units in the opponent's front row. So that pressure, um, depending on what setup your opponent has. One reason I do like this card, but like I said, it would be a one of tech otherwise if I had more uh, Drill Dragon. And also just a one-of of, of Great Composure Dragon. Just for the more defensive plays at the beginning of your opponent's battle phase, this unit gets plus 3,000 until the end of turn for each open rear guard in your opponent's uh, front row. If it is your turn, this unit gets plus 5 instead of plus 3. So just being able to go off of what your opponent's play style is, depending on the type of deck you're going up against, I like running the one Composure Dragon just for those defensive plays. I'd say you have more offensive cards available in this deck to use, but Composure being able to get that power uh, during your opponent's turn definitely does help to you know just guard attacks for sure and that is it for the grade threes we'll now move on to the grade twos i run four recklessness uh dragon uh, on vanguard or rear when it's placed you counter blast one choose a rear guard in your opponent's front row and bind it so just an easy bind for a counter blast which most of the time by the time you get to grade two you should be at at least one damage and on rear guard when it attacks a vanguard if your opponent's front row has one or less rear guards this unit gets plus three thousand till the end of that battle able to hit for 12k power so a little more difficult when you're going up against the um you know force decks but you have options just to have boost power along with this card also just to hit some higher numbers which definitely does come in handy and then I also run 
four Dusty Plasma Dragon. It's a once per turn when your opponent's rear guard is bound during your turn. If you may have two of your rear guards with the same column as this unit, give plus 5,000 until end of turn. So one of the ones you want to have on your, uh, you know, your rear guard circle is not the Excel circle. For that power, it's a once per turn power boost. I run four of it, but I would more than likely reduce this number to three. So I could run four Dragonic Death Scythe, even this card we're missing too. This card really shot up in price within the last couple weeks. Um, but it's, it's such a good card, so I can definitely see why. Uh, when placed, you Soul Blast 2, choose a rear guard in your opponent's front row, bind it, and this unit gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. And a continuous rear guard effect during the battle that attacked a vanguard if your opponent does not have a rear guard in the front row of the same column as this unit, this unit gets plus 5,000. So that power boost and just that use of soul, which everything else in this deck is pretty counter blast heavy for all of their abilities. Just being able to rely on your soul for a Dragonic Dread Scythe for, or Death Scythe, sorry about that, for the rear guard bind power and then the additional plus power with this card means it can hit force units on its own as well, the grade threes, and then just hit for those big numbers with the other clear effect it has. So it would be a definite four in the deck and I would definitely take out the one of the Dusty Plasma Dragons just to put in a fourth copy of this. I'm substituting in the Excess Streak Dragon uh, for now. Just as a substitute, it's just a one place, counter blast one, soul blast one. Choose a rear guard in your opponent's front row and bind it. If you bound a card, this unit gets plus 10,000 to the end of turn. It's not bad. It has that 18k power boost, which can come in handy for a lot of your uh, different plays. So if you don't even have the Dragonic Dread Scythe, I would say this is a definite backup for sure to all the other cards, which are either just, you know, rare or they came out in the trial deck. And that is it for the grade twos. When I move on to the grade ones, I run four Lizard Soldier Riki. It's a Vanguard or Rear Guard effect when placed. You Soul Blast one, and this unit gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. You may switch all of your opponent's rear guards between the front and back rows. So it's just that pressure if your opponent's keeping units in the back row. You can use this to put them in the front row and then retire them with the effects of your other cards. It's a Soul Blast as well, which, like I said, aside from Dread Scythe, a good amount of cards take up some of your counter blast for your uh, plays so you just like to rely on uh, soul for a lot of your cards as much as you can so definitely four of this just for that adjustment since all the retire effects are dealing with the front row and with this deck and then I also run four Demolition Dragon. If there are no rear guards in your opponent's front row, this unit gets plus 3,000. So good rear guard boost power for sure when you're going up uh, against your opponent's Vanguard, which may be a 13k base depending on what you're playing against. And on Vanguard, when it attacks, hits a Vanguard, you draw a card. So this is great pressure on your Vanguard uh, when you attack with your grade one for sure. So just being able to make this the potential ride target. I like that this and Lizard Soldier Riki both have uh, Vanguard effects, whether it be the switch effect or just the draw power, which like I said, the one thing that this deck definitely does have problems with is just the hand consistency being an Excel deck. But as long as you have these options available to you, you should be fine with all the other plays you go for. And then lastly, for the grade ones, I also run Four, Rising Phoenix. Uh, from the drop zone, when your opponent's rear guard is bound during your turn, you may call this card to rear. If you do, this unit gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. So just um, the additional call, if you get this card in your soul as well, and then you soul blast, putting it in the drop zone, or if you even just guard with it. I like the redo they've done for Rising Phoenix. It used to be the uh, soul blast to uh, draw card for the... Uh, Narukami, but just being able to revive this card, very fitting name for Phoenix as well, from the drop zone uh, for the additional plus 3,000 power as well. Uh, helps for rear guard boosts for sure, a definite four of just with that uh, call power since you will be binding a lot of cards in the deck as well. Uh, sadly missing one of these as well. So putting in the one Photon Bomber Wyvern from the Trial Jack just for the Counter Blast 2. And this unit gets plus 5,000 to the end of turn. If your opponent's front row has one or less rear guards, it gets plus 10,000. It's just a power boost. I would definitely prefer this over it for sure. Just going through all my options available for the uh, plays you can make with the deck. And the grade one count is lower just because of the fact that we have a higher grade three count, just so you have that consistent ride for the Excel circles for sure, just to keep those going for bigger power as well. If you wanted to drop down some of the numbers, you could even keep it at four Stinger 
and then also the four drill and then adjust your numbers to maybe one vermilion and or like I said the four and four or just take these two out or the one of to add an additional grade one for those numbers to make your grade one count higher. But that's personal preference there. I'm never really too, too concerned with it being an Excel deck. You just want the bigger units also for those Excel circles for bigger column power. And then for the grade zeros, your starter, the standard Spark Kid Dragoon for the Rotopon draw effect. And then for the trigger lineup, decide to go with the front triggers. So for Zephyr Kid Hayate. Uh, actually, I think I mixed up the order because the front triggers. So four Zephyr Kid Hayate and also four Dragon Dancer uh, Katharina. I like the front triggers. Uh, that whole talk of the big boost to your unit's power definitely does come into play. So front triggers give so much more pressure with your Vanguard being able to restand with Drill Dragon. These just add so much to the deck over the uh, critical triggers, I would say, for sure. And I also run the standard four draw triggers, the Wyvern Guard Golds uh, for the Perfect Guard as well. And also the four heal trigger, the Worm Toxin Eradicator, so Obo, or is it an L? Say Obo. <laughs> that was it, my mistake. Uh, for the heal to finish off the trigger lineup. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I've been trying to do as many of the decks for the Miyagi Academy. I know we have the Vilas Deleter booster pack coming up, so definitely looking forward to doing some deck profiles from that as well. And also hoping to maybe get the Blondezel deck out as soon as I can for a deck profile and maybe a budget version of Narukami as well later down the road. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.